G'day everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're approaching trial season here over the summer and there's a lot of differing events uh, ranging from sort of your entry level, smaller distances right up to the six inch ultra marathon. So a really common question we're getting in store is basically what trail or specific shoe do I need to meet my goals? Um, and essentially it's a good opportunity to recap our two primary um, goals here at the Running Centre. One is to have a shoe that's fit for purpose and the other is to find something that's comfortable. So to help differentiate our trail shoes, we've just got a little graph to try and understand, depending on where your goals are, what type of shoes might be interesting you to help you uh, achieve your goals on the trails. So basically there's two distinct categories here. If you're looking to go longer and you're approaching a trail distance that you either haven't run before, or you feel is gonna be a real test on your musculoskeletal system to get through the distance, there's certain attributes of the shoe we're looking at that are gonna be really complimentary or if you're looking to cover a distance that you're quite well conditioned to or you've run before and you're looking to get your pace up, you're looking to run a new PB on a course you've done before, there's a few attributes we can look at to help there as well. So we'll start at the top and probably our most common sort of selling trail shoe that we've got is called the Hocker Speed Go. So there's a lot of cushioning here, it's quite lightweight, it's really well, um, uh, so it's quite uh, grippy on the bottom to handle those different types of terrain. But ultimately we're looking at that maximal to volume trainer type conversion from the road and the longer you're going the more you're going to find this is going to suit your element. Now if we're going down in volume a little bit, something like the Brooks Caldera is really aligning with that volume trainer type model. So we've got a little less cushioning than the, um, than the Hocker Speed Goat, still lots of traction um, and still quite a lightweight shoe to handle um, a, a fair bit of distance. One sort of uh, one that we've got here called the Ultra Lone Peak sort of sits in the, in the middle here and this is really favouring people that do need a little bit more width in the toe box. There's still a fair amount of cushioning but it's on a little bit of a lower drop so it does give you that little bit more agility and that little bit more feel for the ground and if you're finding a lot of shoes give you a little bit of pressure across the front of the foot, this one's probably going to hit the sweet spot for you. Now as we progress to someone who's looking at speed or performance as being their major goal, the two main options we're looking at is probably a Peregrine from Saucony. So you can see the pitch of the shoe and the amount of shoe is starting to come lower to the ground, similar to what we'd see in a lightweight trainer. And this is really allowing you to get on and off the trail a little bit quicker, but not compromising on your ability to, to give uh, traction and grip on the, on the unstable surfaces as well. And then we go right down to something like the Cloud Venture Peak from On. Very lightweight, very minimal cushioning and quite grippy. So if you're really looking to cover the distance as quickly as possible, and you're not too concerned with probably how your body's gonna feel at the end of the run, this is the shoe for you. So we've got a really good range. Come on in um, and ask us some questions and have a bit of a try on to see what you find comfortable. Uh, but hopefully this gives you a gauge as to finding out what's gonna fit uh, your purpose depending on your goals. Cheers.